saying this is I receive a lot of questions of people who beat themselves down people who talk about salah they say I'm trying to you know have khushu in my salah but I don't feel it and I think I've done so much evil in my life that Allah doesn't want me to make it to paradise that Allah that I don't deserve to experience the khushu in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what makes a person beat themselves like that And if you notice in such kind of comments, it shows that the person has lost hope in Allah. That Allah has left, left no door for mercy and forgiveness. And this is a very dangerous flaw in aqeedah, in our belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are people who don't just beat themselves down, they beat everyone else down. They look down upon others. They look for mistakes. They, want to put, they, they love it. They rejoice when they find a mistake so they can catch someone and put them down and make them feel, about, feel bad about themselves. That shows there is a serious problem with how you relate to Allah, how you relate to yourself, and how, how you relate to your fellow Muslims. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد. Our religion, our way of life, in Islam is a way is a religion of balance. There is balance in everything, and it's the most healthy way of living and approaching life. But sometimes culture takes over, as Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. رحمه الله تعالى he says كيف أنتم إذا أخذتكم فتنة هرم عليها الكبير ونشأ عليها الصغير وأسلم عليها الأعجمي فإذا غيرت قيل غيرت السنة Something similar was narrated from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. He says, how are you when you grow up in a fitna, a trial, a misunderstanding? That the older ones among you have lived their life through it, with that kind of understanding. And the younger ones have grown into adulthood only witnessing this. And the people who are non-Muslim, they came into Islam and that's all they saw. And people think this is the religion to a point when this is actually changed and corrected, people say the sunnah has been changed. When you change it and challenge it, they say you're challenging Islam and you're challenging the sunnah. So people have become entrenched in these wrong ways, these false cultures, inaccurate cultures. And it seems a lot of us, a lot of us Muslims have fallen into this negative approach that Allah, that our view of Allah is that Allah is out to get us. Allah wants to put us down. That it's all about fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, there is a place for discipline in our religion. There is a place for fear. There is a place for obligation and commitment. But there is a place as well for inspiration. And there is a place for positivity. There is a place for love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a place for hope. And we should put a balance. And interestingly, usually when we talk about the mercy of Allah and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some voices here and there start saying, but there is a balance, there should be fear as well. These are the people who usually talk only about fear. And balance becomes an issue for them only when you talk about the mercy and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's a very dangerous proclivity in our approach. The reason is, the reason is this religion belongs to Allah. This religion belongs to Allah. When, when you preach and educate and give an impression about it that is inaccurate, that is incorrect, you are committing a great crime against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to send some of his companions in order to lead or to invite people to Islam, he used to say, Bashiru wa la tunafiru. When he spoke to two of his companions, he says, You were sent as people who would bring, bring ease, not bring hardship. You know, give people good tidings. Talk, talk to people about what's good, about what's beautiful, about Islam. Don't talk about punishment. Don't talk about 
the what seems to be negative to most people start with the positive side of Islam but for many people it's all about taking people down putting themselves down and the problem is that when people have this kind of tendency they're harsh against themselves they're harsh against their family members and it reaches a point where they start to live some kind of a hypocrisy in their lives because the human soul can, cannot live with so much negativity so when we introduce so much negativity to our to our lives and to ourselves ourselves and our ego will start to find a way to duplicate and create false righteousness and it's dangerous so these are aspects that we should be careful about so there's no harm in Islam being positive towards yourself hold yourself in good regard but don't fall into conceit and pride don't you know take for granted I'm a good person as long as you're working hard as long as you're trying your best every day to improve yourself as a Muslim improve your Iman and increase in good actions try your best to be a better person as long as you're doing this hold yourself in good regard not because of your own excellence but because the mercy of Allah is close to the Muhsineen. Allah in Rahmatullahi Qaribun Min al Muhsineen. The mercy of Allah, the help of Allah is close to the people who do Ihsan. Basically, they try their best. And every now and then you should remind yourself that Allah is severe in punishment. If you feel that your tendencies towards evil are taken over or are being activated, this is the kind of balance that we should strike and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to strike. Something else I just want to share with you quickly again is a, is a, is a gratitude as the Prophet ﷺ says, Man la nas, la illah. He who is not thankful to humanity, to people, will not be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, the fundraising last week went very well, better than expected. Jazakumullah khairan. This shows as well the generosity of this community. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and put barakah in all of your... Uh, contributions and all of your help and all of your dua I know a lot of people made a lot of dua as well so may Allah accept from you and may Allah reward you and recompense you with better than that in this world and in the next and the final thing that I want to share with you is basically that we